got through the uh, ice and snow today? Well, I was here Sunday just to let you know. <laughs> Isn't that right, Joel? <laughs> we didn't get the call. <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll get that straightened out. Well, I tell you, it's a blessing to be here once again. I leave my water every night. Let me remember it. <laughs> um, man, it is a blessing to be here tonight, isn't it? To get some word from the Lord. It's always good to come into the house of the Lord. And I tell you, I really love the Wednesday crowd because you want to be here. You went to work, you were probably busy all day, and yet you still came. That's good, isn't it? I love the Wednesday crowd. That's, I know earlier on in my Christian walk, I was always in Wednesday night study. That's why I learned a lot. So this is good. And I'm pretty sure you probably picked this up now. The way I teach, I simply give you scriptures. I don't try to give you any interpretations that I came up with. Just simply the Word of God. Because I, I really can't help you. The only thing I can do is introduce you to Him that can help you. Is that alright? So if you would, stand with me tonight. And I'm going to guarantee you, you will be blessed by this one. I tell you, it is such a great thing to have the Lord prepare a message. Because I've already went through it. And trust me, I'm learning probably more than you are. I am learning so much from God's Word. We're going to look at Luke chapter 10. And we're going to look at verse 38 to 42. My goodness, this is powerful. Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. Are we there? It reads as follows. Now it came to pass, as they went, they entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister have left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. She was mad, wasn't she? And Jesus answered, listen to Jesus' response. My goodness, don't miss it. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Let's pray. Father God, we come once again just thanking you for your word that was read tonight. It is so powerful. Lord, we thank you for your promise of your word. You said wherever your word go forth, it will not return void. Help us, Lord God, right now to receive your word. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I like the title of the message tonight, Too Busy for Jesus. Too busy for Jesus. When we look at our society, it's a rip and run society. Get all you can get. Be all you can be. The American dream. But with that, it is so materialistic. And we really never focus on the person. Isn't that true? I mean, today I was ripping and running. I say, Lord, why are you doing this to me? I got to preach tonight. Man, I was ripping and running. (laughs) I say, I was ripping and running everywhere. I took my son to school this morning. I told him to stay home. He wasn't feeling good. An hour later, Daddy, can you come get me? I say, oh my goodness. So I had to run and go pick him up. So, ripping it. Then my wife had a doctor appointment. So, ripping and running. Then had to work on top of that. That's busy, isn't it? I wanted to take take some time off and call and say, hey, I'm tired. (laughs) But you can't do that. But one thing I want you to get from this lesson tonight. We're going to look at Martha. Martha was the eldest of the family. Martha 
and Mary and Lazarus was brothers and sisters. Okay? So that's, this is the Martha that we're talking about here. And Jesus Christ had just finished talking to the multitudes, and he's looking for a place to go, and Martha invites him to the house. Now, no doubt the disciples was probably there as well. So Martha prepares this elaborate meal. And while she's preparing it, Jesus is in the other room teaching. And whenever Jesus is teaching, he always gets a crowd. Isn't that right? He always gets a crowd. But Martha, she was so in tuned with preparations for the meal that she did not take time to spend with Jesus. She was too busy. Now, what you got to understand, she was doing a good thing. She was fixing the meal. She invited Jesus in. I want you to, get to let you know here, Martha was saved. So this, this is a good thing here. So this happens to Christians. Martha was saved. Because, I mean, if you read the Bible, she's always serving Jesus, helping Jesus. She loves Jesus. And Jesus loved their family. So, but Martha, this occasion was so busy with the preparation, she didn't get time to spend with Jesus. And this is what I think it is with the season that just passed. I don't even like to use the word Christmas. I've kind of just x that out in my vocabulary. But the holiday that just passed, we say it's about Jesus. But we're ripping and running and doing everything and we never spend time at the Master's feet. When we think about that night when Jesus entered into that flesh and was born, it was quiet. It wasn't a lot of ripping and running. But we have commercialized the holiday. We've got to get this person this. We've got to get that person that. If you understand that God gave us a gift on Christmas or on the holiday, we need to be in the mode of giving. So, are we going to spend time at the Master's feet? You may be doing something good. But remember, even if it's good, if it, is it used the right way? So Martha, as we see here, she was cumbered with all this work. She was busy working. And then, one thing I want you to know is that her sister, Mary actually did help her. When people, a lot of people read this, they say, wow, she didn't even help her. Well, I want you to look at this scripture here. Look at verse um, 40. Look at verse 40. Look at verse 40. I'll show you that she did help her. It says, But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, does not thy care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? So, Mary at one point was helping. Would you agree there? Yeah. Yes. She was helping. But one thing about Mary that's so cool is Mary knows her sister. You ever know somebody in your family? They're never going to be satisfied. No matter what you do, you can work to the bone. I mean, it's just, it's just like, I hate to say this, my wife's not here. But her dad, I, you know, he loves to wash cars, and he asked me to help. And when you do it, he's got to go back after you and do it. Well, I don't want to do it anymore, because you're going to do it yourself. But never satisfied, we know him. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that Mary went in there and did her duties that they were assigned, and then Jesus talking... She left doing, she did her work and then left and sat at Jesus' feet. She was disciplined. And that's how I would like to categorize these tonight. Martha was distracted, but Mary was disciplined. She did her work, but then she decided. I like what Jesus said best. She made a choice to sit at his feet. Wow. 
Can you imagine? You have the Creator, God in the flesh, in your house, and you're more concerned about serving the food? Are you what? Are you serious? No. I mean, we got to understand that Jesus Christ Himself was in the house. How many people ever entertained guests in your house? Is it a good thing not to talk to your guests? The purpose for your guests to be there is to spend time with them. So all these preparations were made. And Mary, Martha evidently was very particular. You know, everything had to be right. Jesus said she was cumbered with it. That means mentally overdrained. She was overthinking everything. And that's how we get sometimes. We overthink everything. We overthink everything and we miss those little subtle moments. I know um, when I was, me and my wife um, early on started out having kids, you know, I was really just dedicated into work and just poured all my time into work. And my wife stayed at home. And I just felt so bad because I was so busy working all the time and you miss all those moments. But you know what? Those moments that we did, that I did take and spent time with them was precious. You have to take time to spend with the ones you love. Because sometimes we're just so busy ripping and running and we never spend time with those we love. Like I said, don't be mistaken here. Martha, she loved Jesus. But she let the cares of the world, cares of serving overtake what she was supposed to be doing. You know, I like to say it this way here. Um, it says, we are so busy with in other people business that we don't even handle our own business. Isn't that right? Remember, if you think about the, if you get the scene here, I could just imagine Mary doing her work and then leaving and going to sit at Jesus' feet. Martha is in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure she's, you know, oh man, that Mary, she done left. I can see her just pacing back and forth. Can't you see her? I bet she got the pans and start rattling. And maybe she's going to come in there and probably drop something. Say, maybe Mary going to come in there. I bet she peeked out the door. Oh, she ain't coming yet. And I can just see her storming back and just go back and, you know, probably doing some chopped salad and just tossing it up. And then she's going back and she's not there. And it got to a point so bad that she interrupted the teachings of Jesus. This will happen when you don't check yourself. Whenever you're in someone else's business, you're going to go out of business. You're going to lose it. Because she was so concerned about what Mary was doing instead of what she was doing. Be concerned about what you're doing. Take care of your duties and everything will be all right. My son always say, do your own job. We're coaching a basketball team and they're not working together as a team right now. My son say, simply do your job. Don't worry about the other man's job. But everybody else worrying about their other job and they're not getting their job done. And that's the way it works. And I tell you, you know, um, I don't know if I told you last week, but I started this fast thing this year where I'm doing no social media for a month. And man, I have been having a good time. I found out that my headaches ain't as bad. I'm not agitated. I'm not in everybody else's business trying to figure out what they're doing. I'm feeling good. So Larry may be onto something. Get off of that Facebook. Because <laughs> you're in everybody else's business, seeing how miserable your life is, why you're not on this dream vacation. So think about it. Do be at work about your business and take care of your business. Mary was concerned about hearing God's word. Whenever God's word is in the house, we all need to sit at his feet. Is that right? Yes. So that brings me to this point. You know, I, I visit a lot of churches. And, and it's amazing me. Follow me here and see if you agree with me. You know, the, the, the church is be, be, be doing a great job, and then they're, they're ready to preach, and they send the kids out. 
What are you talking about? Why?